Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. I am once again in a new location. <laughs> I'm decided to sit on my love seat today just because it's more comfortable. And this isn't a fancy channel, so I don't need to have like a fancy background every single week. Uh, the background today is my kitchen area and the hallway. and You can actually see one of my finished objects in the background. <laughs> Uh, Jesse is napping right now. I just laid him down, so I'm hoping I can film this before he wakes up. Um, Devin just left for work, so I'm sitting here about to film a video, and then I'm going to get something to eat because I'm hungry. Anyways, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. This is episode 25. Or 26. I think it's 26. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. I've had quite a few, and I think a lot of them came over from Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet. Because she mentioned to me in her last video, and then I got a bunch of subscribers. So, uh, welcome everybody. <laughs> um, welcome back to all the new, the old people. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I said that. Right. I feel like uh, I'm always awkward and mess up everything. Okay, let's just jump in, shall we? I have two finished objects this week. Um, the first one is back here. It's the heart, uh, Valentine's Day heart hearts. No, not squares. They're hearts. It's just a Valentine's Day hearts. <laughs> it's a free pattern by Regina. I'm not sure how to say her last name. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. Uh, Regina Rue. Ru, uh, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. It'll be linked below. Um, it's just like her pattern calls for crochet thread and like a 1.8 millimeter hook, which uh, isn't happening because <laughs> that's way too small for my likes. So I changed it to worsted weight yarn and an elf hook which is my favorite hook. Uh, and they came out pretty good size. I showed one last week and then I, I made four more. <laughs> three pink and three red. The pink is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Petal Pink. The white is Red Heart White and the other red is Red Heart Super Saver. It's either Red Hot or Hot Red. I just have them on a piece of yarn right now. I wanted to crochet some, uh, like a chain but I couldn't figure out how to get it to work right the day I was doing that so I just put a piece of yarn through it and on the ends of the yarn I plan on making pom-poms just to you know fest it up a little bit but I made five and strung them together to make a banner pennant garland thing for Valentine's Day to hang over that gap um, I think I'm gonna make one for every holiday so on the next one I need to make I need to find a pattern for shamrocks or something to do with St. Patrick's Day but yeah it's a free pattern it, um, I already said that it's pretty easy. I like it. It looks like a doily or a coffee filter heart. I don't know if anyone's ever made those, but when I was a kid in school, we made coffee filter hearts, and that looks like that to me. <laughs> My other finished object, it's kind of curly, but it's this headband. Show you the seam. Yeah. It's just a, it's an ear warmer, actually. I need to get it right. It's not for me, but I'm going to wear it. <laughs> it's for my mom. It goes like that. I like it. It's ugh, a little tight, but I think they're supposed to be tight because they keep your ears warm. <laughs> Anyways, it's the Faux Knit Ear Warmer by Maria's Blue, Blue Crown. I always want to say Kenyan. I don't know why. It's a free pattern, or at least it's free in January. I think I read somewhere that it's just free in January. But it'll be linked below. It's January, so you still have time to get it. <laughs> I made it with an H hook, and the yarn is Mainstays um, Medium Gray Heather. I like it. It's it's all, uh, what is it called? Front post double crochet around, so that gives it this rigided, rigided, rigid <laughs> look that kind of looks like knit. That's the faux knit part of it. <laughs> and it's... I don't know, it's just nice. It's really warm. It curls on the side because of the nature of that stitch. But, um, it's pretty cool. I like it, and I think my mom will like it a lot. I'm going to make me one. But yeah, it's a free pattern. It'll be linked below also. That's all my whips. Or my, not my whips, my finished objects. My whips are still here. <laughs> Alright, first I'm going to talk about this one. This was a hexy blanket that I was going to work on from my brother and my sister-in-law just to use this blue yarn because I want to get rid of it. I've had it forever. But I'm just not happy with it. <laughs> I'm apparently very picky when it comes to blankets. And I don't know, just this just doesn't look, first of all it doesn't look anything like the picture and it's probably because my tension's off. But um, 
I just think it looks weird. I don't know. So I'm going to frog it and put that yarn back up and wait until I find a better pattern to make with it. It is living in my cardinal bag that I made. It's just a regular, it's like a sack, I guess. I didn't do anything fancy with the corners. <laughs> but, uh, so I'll be taking that out and frogging it because I'm just, I'm not feeling it and I'm not going to waste any time crocheting stuff that I'm not feeling. So, I only have two whips, technically. One is my bear, which just looks like a bean or something. This is the Sleepy Bear by Jennifer something. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's a free pattern. It's made with uh, Red Heart Super Saver Icelandic. It is made with elf hook, which is my favorite hook, which I've already said that. But this is just his body, <laughs> obviously. His head and his belly. Um, I have to do his legs, his arms, his ears, and a muzzle. And then his eyes and his nose and stuff are stitched on. But I ran out of fiber fill. I mean, I have a little bit left, but not enough to do all of his arms and legs. So, he's probably going to just sit in the bag until I get around to buying more fiber fill. Which I need to buy one of those big giant boxes like Randy bought recently. He's living in my bluebird bag. I don't know. Season's greeting Christmas bag I made. It does have a... Well, he's in there, so it looks funny. It has a... Uh, what's that called? Boxed bottom. Which is pretty when it's not all messed up by a bare body being in it. And then the inside is just red polka dots. I always have the pattern, the tutorial for this bag on in my description. Except though, I, I have altered it a little bit. Like this is made with four fat quarters to make it bigger. And the one below the tutorial uh, is only made with two, so it's smaller. But, I mean, you could tweak it and make it bigger like I did. I sidetracked, but that's normal for me. <laughs> All right, my last whip, I was literally just working on this before Jesse wanted to go to, um, down for a nap. Let me get all the pieces out because it's got all the pieces to it. It is, the pattern is called Buggy Garden Set by Heidi Yates, which Heidi Yates is the creator at Snappy Tots, which if you don't know who that is, you should because she's awesome. <laughs> Alright, what else? Okay, that. I think I got all of his bits and pieces. Alright, that pattern, when you, it's a paid for pattern. When you buy it, um, it comes with like four or five different patterns to make different flags, uh, pillows, and I think some bags. Uh, I'm making the, it's called the, Le the Love Bug Garden Flag. This is the background of it. It's just white, Red Heart Super Saver white. And it's going to look like a ladybug, but instead of spots on its back, this is its body. <laughs> and his little head. And his tail. These are going to be the um, things that hold the flag to the dowel. Instead of spots on the ladybug's body, it's going to be little hearts. This is one wing. It'll have heart spots on there. And uh, I'll pop up a picture of what it's going to look like. <laughs> What am I attached to? Okay. And then I'm currently working on the second wing. I was just making it before Jesse wanted to go to bed. Um, I got sidetracked. I'm using an eye hook for all the main parts, and then all the hearts are made with a G hook, I think. But, yeah, it's it's going to be super cute. And her pa The pattern, it can come with the love bug. I mean, you can make the love bug or a regular ladybug or a little bumblebee. And then there's different variations of how to make garden flags little bags or little pillows and um, it's a paid for pattern but I got it for free because she gives patterns away all the time for different reasons and uh, I don't think I've ever bought one of her patterns I think I've gotten them all for free right now on my email I have uh, four coupon codes for free patterns of hers and I'm waiting for more ones to come out that I want but it's made with all Red Heart Super Saver I can't remember the color this red color's name or this pink color <laughs> the pink is right here the pink is Rogue, or Rojo. Um, I think this is a discontinued. I bought it on clearance. But then it's just black and white, and this red is not the hot red, but it's the darker red that I made Santa with, if y'all saw that. But right now it's just a bunch of pieces, because I like to get everything made and then sew it together. So all I got left to do for that is the 
the rest of that wing and then I gotta make six seven eight I gotta make eight little hearts and two bigger hearts and then I'll, I'll go do salt together and it'll be done I'm planning on hanging it somewhere in here because I don't want to hang I don't have a screen door so things aren't protected so I don't want to hang it outside I'm just gonna hang it in here for a Valentine's Day decoration and I was planning on making some Valentine's Day heart people like Emma Grimmies but uh, I ran out of fiber fill, so I probably won't get around to doing that before I end up buying more. Stuff that fucking bug bag. The ladybug flag is living in my <laughs> uh, candy corn bag. I made this one too. It's a big one too, with a box bottom, and the inside's just orange. But uh, I really love making these bags. I want to make more, but I got to get more fat quarters for inside colors because I don't have any ones that I want to use for liners. I want to use all the ones I have for the outside part. <laughs> Alright, which brings me to acquisitions. I only have a few acquisitions and it's just um, some fat quarters. <laughs> Christmas ones from, um, you know, when they went on clearance. Let me open this one. I got six of them. Alright, I got two that look like this. It's just a little snowman with scarves and mittens. It's so cute. I got two of those. So I can make a pretty good size bag. I can make one of these size bags with these two and then two liner ones. And then I got this one that's I've had some of these before. That's just blue with white snowflakes on it. This one is just uh, red with polka dots. I got one of these that is like the bag I made Hannah, little cartoon uh, reindeer and penguins and Santas. And then this is this last one looks just like this one. Those were on clearance at Walmart, just a holiday clearance. They were 50 cents each. So I got all the ones there that I liked. They had some more that just looked, they just weren't my taste. So I got all the, the ones I liked, which is just six. But um, I can make, the ones that I only have one of, I can make a smaller bag. Like the cat one that I made, Forever Girl. The very first bag I made was following that tutorial, which is with one fat quarter on the outside. So I can make smaller ones. But I'm also wanting to learn, one of my goals this year, craft goals, is to um, learn how to sew zippers onto bags. You know, make zipper bags. And how to interface bags. So I want to make like little pouches to put like stitch markers and things like that in. And then I want to make actual project bags and stuff too. Although I love my drawstring ones and I like them because I can have the yarn just coming out the drawstring gap and leave everything in the bag and just pull the yarn to there. So it's, I love those bags but I want to learn how to make the zipper ones too just just because. <laughs> but that's pretty much everything. Uh, that's all my finished objects, all my whips and my acquisitions. <laughs> um, the only other thing that I want to talk about is Terry, she's going to be filming her video today too. We both film on Thursdays, I'm pretty sure. She puts hers out Thursday night and I put mine out Friday morning. But uh, Terry, or at the Yarn Direct Podcast by the way, uh, she is going to be starting a cow in a sense uh, and she's going to be talking about it in her video. So y'all need to pop over there if you're interested in cows and it's going to be corner to corner. Um, I'm going to start it too. I'm going to try to finish it. Uh, I want to also pull up my grease blanket too, because I want to do that. I want to finish that this year. I'm just, I think I'm going to leave some of the squares out. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'll worry about that the next time Jesse's at a grandparents. I can pull it out and look at it and decide from there. But check out um, Terry over at the Yarn Drone Podcast. Yarn Joy Podcast. And, you know, if you want to follow us along, go ahead. So far, I know me and her is doing it. So hopefully some other people will or just be me and her doing it. Which is totally cool. But, um... I'm going to hop off here and go get something to eat. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since early. And then I'm going to watch some Little House on the Prairie. Because I like to binge watch that. And crochet. Probably work on my little love bug. Yeah. Oh, I just heard a weird noise. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop off like I already said. I always say it like 800 times. So as usual, down below are going to be my, my, what, my Ravelry group, my Ravelry page, and my Instagram. I'm most active on my Instagram. Uh, I do share a lot of giveaways and stuff on there. And I'm thinking about making a Facebook group soon because, like right now, there's two Facebook um, pages that every day they're giving away 
a pattern every day in January. Let me go find it and I'll tell y'all what it is. Because uh, I want to make a group so that I can share stuff like that that I find on there for y'all. Right now I'm just showing everything on Karen's <laughs> Facebook group over at uh, Casualistic. Karen Hill. Let's see. Okay, the first one is Blackstone Design dot blogspot <laughs> dot pe I don't know what that is but Blackstone Divine Designs you can look that up she's giving away one of her patterns every day of January uh, I've already gotten like four of them because it's January 4th right now but a lot of pages do that for different reasons for birthdays for anniversaries for holidays they share all kinds of patterns that are normally paid for but they give them out for free during those and that's like these all of these ones are paid for patterns usually and they're giving them away just because it's New Year and um, I've been sharing them on Facebook, but that's why I need to make it my own group for No Catch Name so that I can share it for everybody who watches my videos can go join the group and, you know, get all that information there. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll link them below, though, if y'all want to check them out. And I'm going to go ahead and hop off because I just totally slaughtered that. And I'm tired and I'm hungry and I want to watch TV. So I'm going to go. I'll see you guys next Friday. Uh, I hope you all had a good New Year, by the way. We had a really good one. And tomorrow's my brother's birthday. Woohoo! <laughs> Bye, guys.